Today we're going to look at OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition. OCR is a feature of the Xerox copier in the ESL program's workroom. What is OCR and what can it do for me? Well, if you scan a document with this OCR mode enabled, you won't just scan a picture of the document, but you will scan it as text that you can copy and paste and edit. So if you only have a hard copy of a document, but you want to edit that document, scanning it in OCR mode might be very useful to you. So we're going to take a quick look at how to configure the copier to scan your text in an editable way. Then we're going to look at a document that I scanned in OCR mode and see uh, what mistakes it made and how well it scanned or how well it didn't scan. Uh, spoiler alert, it does a pretty good job. It probably catches 90 to 95 percent of the text. So if you have a hard copy of a document that you want to scan, uh, I think it's probably well worth your time to scan it this way. But it takes a little figuring out. So walk up to the copier. This is the screen you see. First thing you should do, pop in your USB drive and click the scan to USB button. Bing! So we have our USB drive connected to the copier. First thing I would recommend, click on the two sided scanning button, you'll see the default is one sided. Now if your document has text on the front and back of one or more pages, you're going to want to select two sided scanning. If you're just doing one document, you can skip this step. The document I had was two pages front and back for four pages of text. So I clicked on here and I selected two sided scanning so that it would scan both sides as I fed it through the copier. And you can use the, uh, the form feeder, the stuck a bunch of papers in there and scan them through automatically all at once into one document, which is a nice feature. Next, click on the file name. This is optional as well, but the default file name is doc, which is kind of generic. I went ahead and put in something called Chris Scan, just so I'd find it on my list of my clogged up USB drive. Uh, call it whatever you want, click OK, and that's we've named the file that we're about to scan. Next, click on Advanced Settings. And on here, you'll see a variety of settings, but we want to select resolution. 200 DPI or dots per inch uh, is still a little bit grainy. We want to go a little higher. We're going to select 300 DPI, and you can see uh, it says that's 200 is best for standard office documents. 300 is recommended for OCR, which is where we're heading. So click on OK. Next, select Filing Options. And this is where we actually are going to select the OCR. So collect file, select File Format. And you can see by the description, uh, this will result in one file that is not searchable. We're going to change that. So click down where it says Image Only and choose the option Searchable. And now you can see it says the result will be one file that is searchable and editable. In other words, we're using and enabling the OCR features. Uh, here you can see the default is English. If you're scanning a text that isn't, there are other options available, but I think most of us will be scanning English documents. So we're done here. Click OK. And now we should be good to go. So click the Start button. Feed your document through. It'll say it's scanning. Don't remove your USB drive. It'll process it. Here it's two pages in this case. And then it'll say Complete. So once everything stops spinning and the gears stop turning, you can go ahead and unplug your USB drive and take it to a computer and see what you've got. So, my scan turned out like this. And you can see this is the PDF. It scans as a PDF. And um, it's basically a photocopy. It was kind of a rough, older copy. This is a grammar diagnostic that I wanted to use. You can see I can take my mouse and, and I can highlight text. Uh, you can also see it doesn't catch every word. It didn't catch the word than. It didn't catch the underlines. It doesn't do well with lines, frankly, but it did a pretty good job. So I copied the whole thing. I uh, hit uh, Command A and I went over to my Word document and I pasted it in there. Command V. Uh, PC users Control A, Control C, Control V, uh, all these things. So copy it all, paste it all in here, and here's what I came up with. You can see a lot of the line breaks are odd. Uh, this table is blank, that chair, the blank is just missing. Uh, you can see some of the quotations are missing or tiny. Here it interpreted this as a giant Q. 
Um, some of the things are really strange. Multiple choice A, B, C, D. This one was interpreted as A, B, tiny little I, big U. So there is some cleaning up to do uh, down here. Packages rice became pat. It lost the G and added some hyphens. So if your document isn't clean and there are stray lines, it may try to interpret these as texts, dashes, colons, what have you. Overall, I, I'd say it did a pretty good job. And I spent about five or ten minutes going through this document and ended up with a nice clean version. I added a bunch of line breaks, cleaned up any typos, changed the punctuation, and uh, I came out with a pretty clean document. Overall, I think this did save me some time, especially on a four-page document. I'm not typing everything in, although it wouldn't take that long, but having the scanner scan the text and be able to edit the text instead of starting and typing from scratch was a real bonus. So uh, take a look at this video next time you want to do this. Once you figure out where all the little codes and buttons are hidden in the copier menu, it actually is pretty straightforward. So don't be ashamed. Stand next to the copier with your phone, play this video, walk yourself through it, and start scanning some text for optical character recognition. The future is now.